Why are you playing basketball? Um, <laughs> it's fun. I mean, I, I, I started playing basketball when I was four years old. Um, my mom put me in this league, and uh, we used to play with small basketball. And they would have like X, they would have X's on the court. And whenever you dribble to that X, like you got to that spot, and no one could touch you. You could get a free shot. So it was like a free throw, but during the game, you just had certain spots. So that's when I started, you know, picked up basketball and, and loved it ever since. Just enjoyed playing the game. So you, you, there, there was no like multiple choice situation. Uh, maybe, maybe I want to play football, or I want, I want baseball, or I want some other sport. It, was it just basketball? I played basketball, football, and baseball my whole life. But, but why did basketball win out? Um, because. I think my, my my first love was football, and and what um, position did you play? Running back. Running. I can imagine that. Yes, I can. I can easily imagine <laughs> you as a running back. Yes. Yeah, and then and then uh, after high school, I had to make a choice. You know, I had a couple uh, scholarship offers to play both, but I think it would have did a lot of wear and tear on my body to play college basketball and football. So. So you you have to make a. Choice. I had to make a choice. You have to make a choice. And, and my mom was a big uh, reason why I picked basketball because she was more scared than anything if I kept playing because football. she would, you might get hurt right right she was which is scared. which was very real right right and very right. possible right and I think that my career would have been longer playing basketball so at that point you know I could have had a career playing football I felt like I could have but um, it wouldn't have been as long you know I knew about the Philippines and I actually got offered to come here um, out of high school and come and play college ball here but you know I wanted to stay home and and do that. So I already knew the opportunity was here to come play, you know, basketball professionally here. But, you know, my eyes was obviously set on the NBA. But, um, you know, it didn't work out that way and I knew I could have a career out here. So ultimately chose basketball. Now, what, what ultimately made you decide to go to the Philippines and see what was out here? Um, well, I didn't want to, you know, have a go into a nine to five job right away. You know, I still wanted to play basketball. I still wanted to pursue my dream of, you know, being a professional athlete. And uh, I got, you know, the, the opportunity and the offer to come out here and play in the PBL first, you know. And, and actually when I first got out here, I wanted to go home, you know, and, and, you know, being in the PBL, you're not making that much money. I stayed in this this small condo that, you know, Harbor Center put me up in. And, you know, I never seen roaches that size before. <laughs> you know? So, you know, when I came out here, I, I didn't really know anybody, and, and I wanted to go home. I was just gonna say, I'll go home and go into coaching and teaching. I got my degree in that. And but then um, um, I met Gabe, and I met Jimmy, and he, Jimmy took me and Gabe under his wing and made it so much easier to be out here. You know, so that's why I'm still here. When you first heard about the PBA, I mean, what was your early impressions about the league? Um, well, I, I knew people that had played in it before, so um, I knew Harvey Carey from from a while a while ago. So, you know, I knew the competition was good. Um, I knew it was a you know basketball was huge out here in the Philippines. But you've never seen like a PBA game, and no, not even not, not even like on, on the internet or on YouTube or not. I had no idea. So when I, when I came out here and I saw just how big basketball was, you know, it, it was I was excited to you know eventually get into, even in in the PBL it was big. You know, people would notice me and, and you know a lot of big crowds and stuff. So I mean, it was it was amazing just to feel that atmosphere. You know, especially I, when I first got out, I was able to watch a college game uh, on TV. It was LaSalle and Tanae, and I was like, wow. This is insane, you know, just the amount of people that are there and, you know, the spirit that they have. You know, college is big back home also, but to see it here, like that rivalry, it was, it was crazy. Do uh, you remember the exact moment when you really made that life decision? And it's not an easy decision to make. For you to say, you know what, I'll try it out here in Manila. Even without family here, you might have friends, but not... You know, not the friends that you grew up with back in the States, so that's not an easy life decision to make. When was that moment and how did it lead up to that? Um, I think it was it was it was easy for me. It was right away because it was my dream. I, I had I had a workout with the Toronto Raptors after college and, and after that workout it, it didn't it didn't pan out to how everything went, so I was like, you know, I made the call to a guy and 
he had met with Charlie and, and, and the rest Charlie of his, D. Charlie yeah. D, yeah. right. And it was it was easy for me. I've always been like away from home. You know, even even uh, I moved away from my mom when I was younger to live with my uncle in Washington. So I kind of already, you know, and then I was away for college. So it wasn't it wasn't hard for me to leave my family to pursue a dream that I had. So, you know, when I made the decision, I was I was ready to go. So are you are you living a basketball dream now? Yes, I am. I mean, doing something I love and, and getting paid for it. And I mean, this is something that back home I would pay to, to do. You know, we pay to get into the gym to play basketball, you know, back home. You know, so to be paid to do something that I love is, is my ultimate dream. I, this is something I dreamt of when I was a kid.